Now, this is set towards at the end of the American Civil War. So, yes. so was that the, the part that attracted you to the, to the script? In the first place? No, I think that um, the fact that it was an American civil uh, film set during the American Civil War is not the thing that absolutely me attracted to the story. What really attracted me to the script was the fact that the story was about, or set about, three women, which I think is very unusual because most films are about men and this, you know, the women in films play rather secondary or even worse than secondary roles. You know? So to actually have a film which explores the relationship of these three women and hopefully does it in a dramatic, thrilling an exciting way it was was a really exciting thing to get the chance to do. Because compared to Harry Brown that we saw, mm. which was a magnificent achievement, which was male dominated, was mm. when you've directed all females, how did that compare? Um, well, for me, um, I don't mind whether I direct men or women. To be honest, um, for me, it's about what's the story we're trying to tell, and how can I best help the actors. Um, you know, how can I best help them perform you know, to the best of their abilities and, and so on. And I think I am a modern guy and I don't have any problem relating with women. In fact, I probably have more women friends than male friends, to be honest. So it was very easy for me. I really enjoyed it. But, um, and also the actresses I worked with were very special and are you know, supremely talented. So it was a joy to work with them, really. I can imagine as well it's a time, it's pretty brutal. Mm. Harry Brown was pretty brutal. So did you want to soften the edges there or did you want to...? I wanted to. Um, I wanted it to feel quite um, as accurate as we could and we did a little historical research into the times. It was a brutal war and it was a brutal time and there's no way of dressing up slavery in a pretty light either to be honest. Um, but I didn't, want to, I didn't want to dwell in the mire. So I think the story, as you see it, is a coming of age. Um, it's about the women growing together, learning together, living together, and, and ultimately becoming one together, um, which I think is very special. Um, so yes, there are violent moments in it. Yes, there are hard things to look at. But I'm not a filmmaker who likes to do things gratuitously. I just like to be very matter of fact about violence. So hopefully, um, Hopefully that comes through. There's very little written about um, a slave from a, a female's perspective. Yes. So how, what did you do to prepare for your role? Um, well, I listened to a lot of um, taped recordings from... Um, there was there's these recordings that the Library of Congress has. And so I got to listen to a lot of the... Of, the, of them recapping what it was like in, in, during um, slavery time and I just kind of fed off of that, yeah. And I also watched a couple of documentaries as well, yeah. Your, your character seems very spirited, was that a lot of fun for you to play? It was <laughs> spirited, it's so funny, I didn't think about it when I was um, playing it, but I think it's what she needed to do to survive at the time, so yeah. And it, it's set towards the end of the American Civil War. Yeah. So what was there that you could research that helped you better prepare for, for her? Well, I actually decided to, my, my approach to MAD was to go underneath the veil of, uh, of, of, of what was going on during that time. Because a woman does reside there going through, trying to find her personal identity, trying to find, out, find her voice, where she fits in in the world. And so that was really my approach. And then watching the documentaries kind of gave me an overview of of what of the time yeah for an actor it's all about the story so what was it about this particular story that you thought i have to be a part of this when i read the script and my agent sent it to me um i got to page five and my character didn't enter until a lot further down the line but i knew that i wanted to be a part of it because there were such strong female characters and for me it's really important that we push um, not only female writers but female leads um, at the centre, and that was the thing that attracted me the most. And even before, like I said, even before I got to my character, I knew that I wanted to be a part of this film. And what was it about your particular character that resonated with you that you thought, you know, I could really bring something to this part? Um, he, Bill, is um, he's on a mission, and he's very determined, and he's driven, and he knows what he wants, and he's riding to get there. And that's that was it. It was just the focus of that character that I really enjoyed. And had you seen Harry Brown as well? Because this is obviously Daniel's second film. So had you seen that in kind of preparation to how he works as a director? 
I had seen Harry Brown. Yeah, I mean, it's a difficult thing. You can never tell how a director works. You can just tell what the end product is like. And that has to do with the editor and all kinds of other people involved. But um, it did give me a sense of the beauty that Daniel brought to um, you know, every project. So what was it when you read the, the script that attracted you to it? Uh, Julia's writing was absolutely incredible. It read beautifully, and it's so spare and empowering, actually, for women in particular. And I think the storyline, because it's an inversion of all, all the things we typically watch in a war film, the women are at the center, they're the protagonists, but they're also southern women, and the Union soldiers are the bad guys, and you never get that side of the story. And um, so I think it was doing something to break many molds, and, and that's really what excited me about the piece. And it's set towards the end of the American Civil War, so was there a lot written about as, as resource material for you to research on as preparation? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's an incredible amount of history. Um, there are photographs, there are books, there are endless, endless first-hand documents in the Library of Congress in America. I mean, it's... There's a wealth of knowledge there, and um, I, I, I used a lot. I used a lot of portraiture, um, which was a really, really interesting way to get into it because nobody really used any emotion in, in, those, in those photos. They're like kind of death masks. They sort of look really eerie and kind of, and a lot of the soldiers are very young, and so I, that was one of the big things I used. It's interesting as well that you've got a British director um, helming this project, that perhaps he could bring objectivity to the piece that maybe um, an American couldn't, perhaps. Yeah, I think that's very true. I think maybe um, definitely an American director would have, would have taken it in a different direction, perhaps. Um, but the fact that it's an American female writer with a British director is such an interesting combination. And I think his objectivity and his strength as a director comes through.